Hey, I hope you're doing good. It's Chris here from Six Dream Finger Picking, and in this lesson, we're going to play a fingerstyle arrangement of Don't Let Me Down by the Beatles. If you enjoy the lesson, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, so let's get into it. This is uh, pretty tricky to play indeed, but it's a lot of fun. So the first part goes. Okay, so to begin with, we play the sixth string wide open, and then we're gonna hammer nine to 11 on the fifth string. And then we're going to play the ninth fret on the third and the fourth string together. So, and then play those two strings again, <clears throat> and hammer the eleventh fret on the fourth string. So, and then back to the ninth fret on the same two strings, and then nine twelve on the fifth string. So. And then we're going to play. It. 11th fret on the 5th string with the 9th fret on the 3rd and the 4th string all together. So. And then we just strum an E chord. So all together. And then we've got. So here we're using 6 and we're starting on the 7th fret on the 2nd and the 4th string. Play those together and slide up to the ninth fret. Then back to the seventh. And then it's gonna be the fifth fret on the second string and the sixth fret on the fourth string. So just that. And then that goes straight down to an F sharp minor. So. Okay. Then I bring in that percussive tap on the count of two and four. So if you want to do that, go ahead. So we'll play the, um, you can strum the chord or play, pick the chords, the strings all together if you want. But then we've got that tap. And then I'll play the bass. And then it, we get this. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my pinky and kind of hammering on and pulling off on that fourth string. So we've played the chord, done our tap, then we're going to play the bass note. And then what I'll do, holding down the full F sharp minor chord, I'll play the third and the fourth string together. And pull off my pinky and then put it back on. So. So. And then I'll do the tap and like a light strum down. And then I'll do a pull off again. So finger is on, play the second and, sorry, the third and the fourth string pull off and then I play the third fourth and sixth string together but with my pinky off and then I hammer it on and then I do that twice so and then I play these two strings and do that hammer on again like that so this is quite hard followed by tap and then I'll play those two strings again the third and the fourth and then the bass. So the F sharp. Like that. And you know, if you want to change it a little bit, that's absolutely fine. If you prefer it in another way or kind of alter it to suit your playing a bit more, I'm all for that. I think it's fine. Then we go, we go. So this is really, it's a kind of a B13 chord, but I'm barring the second fret uh, up to the fifth string, and then I've also got my pinky on the fourth fret of the first string. 
So there, I'll play strings roughly one, two, three, and five together. Then one, two, three, tap, and then one, two, three. So, like that. And then that just goes to your E chord. So, all right. So from the, let's get back to the beginning now. So this is all over an E chord and what I'm doing is I'm holding down the 5th fret on the 2nd string and the 4th fret on the 3rd string. I'll play those together and hammer the 6th fret on the 3rd. And then I'll lift that one off. Then I'll play the bass which is the E string. And then I'm barring the 4th fret on the 3rd and the 4th string. Play those together, hammer the 6th fret on the 4th string. So. Lift it off again, play the same two strings, play the bass, and then I'll play the fourth fret on the fourth and the fifth string, and then the seventh fret on the fifth string. And you can get the fourth string in there as well if you want to. So slowly. Okay, so it's pretty tough. And then straight back to an E. Okay, so strum, and then if you want you can strum twice more, and then two muted strums. Or you can just go whatever you want to do. So, E. All right. So, loads going on there, uh, and then it just goes back to that. Now, if you're following through the tab, I've written it there, so it's the same thing, but just here. It's up to you, you, you know, just, just for ease I do it, and just habit really, but it's exactly the same as playing it there, but as I say, I've just written it on the first and the third string. So you do that again, just play that. Back to F sharp. So once we get to this F sharp minor, for the second time, same as before, you play the roughly the first third, first, second, third, and sixth string. But this time what I do is I pull off fifth to second on the second string. All right, so. But then we've got. So it's basically exactly the same as the first time through, but this time I do a pull off from the fifth to the second on the second string. So, um, from the beginning. To end this part, we end where we began. So we've strummed an E chord, and then we do it hammer 9 to 11 on the 5th. And then, if you remember, you play the 3rd and the 4th string together, ninth fret, twice. And the second time, hammer the 11th on the 4th string, and then back. And then we play 9, 12, and then to this chord here. Play the eleventh fret on the on the fifth string. We can play the whole chord. So then you're into the verse, and this section goes like this. And 
just goes through that twice. So what I'm doing there on the fourth string, I'm sliding from the fourth fret up to the six. Then on the third string, I'll play four and then six. And I'll probably hammer that. Then I'll play the first and the second string open. Then back to the sixth fret on the third string. Slide down two frets. And then I'll play the first on the third string. Then the fourth on the fourth. And the second on the fourth. So. And often on those two open strings, I'll kind of roll my fingers across instead of playing them perfectly together. That leads us to our F sharp minor. So there, I hold down my F sharp minor like this. I'll play strings one, two, three, and six together. And then I'll open up that first string. So I'll alter my fingers like this. So I've got these two held down on the second and the third string, third finger on the fourth string, thumb round the back. Okay, so, and then into this, and I'll strum down, up, down, up. So. Then I'll play the bass, then the second string, and then on a down pick with that tap, I'll play the first fret on the third string like that. So it's really hard to play slowly. But it's like that. And then once I've done that, I'll play two, four on the fourth string. And that's the first bar of this bit. Okay, and then play the bass note again. And then it's the second fret on the fourth string. And uh, really, I'm just targeting that one string like that. I'm doing it all with my index finger, and I'll play down, up, down, really just targeting that E note there. So. See that? Ba, ba, ba. And then I'll play it once more. And then a bass note. And then fourth fret on the second string. And then back to the D string, second fret, tap, and then the A string. And then I'll play open, hammer the first fret on the G string. So that's quite tricky. But it's like that. So watch that as many times as you need to. Um, well, once you're there, as you can see, I play the bass note, strum, bass, bass, and on that second bass, what we're going to do, we're going to play the G string with it, and hammer the second fret, then open first string, tap, and then strings four, and then uh, three, still on the second fret, so E sus. and then just strum an E chord. So, sorry. Like that. So let's go right the way back to the beginning of the verse. good news is once you've got that you just do that all again and then that is your verse done so the second time through you get to the E and that just goes straight back to the chorus which is the first part that we learned so let me go right the way back to the beginning and I'll play through the two sections that we've done
back to that. Back to the chorus. And then the other section is the... Uh, So you've got the bridge to do, and there's also the really cool ending and outro to do as well. And if you're watching this on YouTube and you want to learn the rest of the song, that is available down in the description on my website. So check it out if you want to learn the rest of it. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. I really hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you again really soon for another great Fingerstock guitar lesson.